This is the best Final Cut Pretend plugin pack ever. Well, I know that's a big statement, but wait. Hear me out, please. In today's video, I'll be walking you guys through why, in my opinion, I think CC Gym Graphics version 3 is the best plugin pack for Final Cut Pretend as at now. All right, guys, let's go straight to it. CC Gym Graphics version 3 comes from Creation Store, the sponsor of today's video. And guess what guys, they provide you guys with 10% discount off of any pitches that you make from their website by using the code Joey. Thanks once again to the guys from Creation for making this video possible. All right. So if you're a fitness influencer or a videographer who creates content for gym or fitness influencers or anything related to fitness, there's a plugin pack that you need at hand when it comes to editing in Final Cut Pro 10. So this pack comes with a 3D anatomy graphics and that alone guys i think covers the price of this pack but guess what they still add call out titles intro templates social media tags timers that you can easily drag and drop on your timeline and you are good to go so when you download this plugin pack it comes with a pdf file that's going to instruct you exactly how to install this plugin and also which folder to place in but if you still want to see a video on how to install plugins don't worry i got you guys i made a video already on that i'll leave it down there below and also up here you can check on that and later on come back to this video to continue so once you open the final cut pro 10 software you can see it under titles on your left side of the software so as you can see cc gym graphics it shows right over here and then when you scroll down you can see it comes with a call out essentials graphics icons element intro template lower tiers timers and a whole lot of them over there but today i'll be walking you guys through the 3d anatomy graphics alone because if i should walk you guys through the whole of them it's gonna take so much time and you know i don't want to waste you guys your time so with the 3d anatomy graphics it comes in 12 the first six is for the male body and then the second six for the female body but today i'll be using the two to show you guys with this tutorial or this video so with this you just drag and drop on your timeline right when you drop it on your timeline as you can see it comes with the on-screen controls so with this when you move this it's gonna move the whole body itself but we just leave it at default settings and also with this one when you move it move the test and also the animated lines with that also we leave it at default settings so command z to go back and then with this when you tilt it then it tilts the test and the lines only we also leave it at the default settings command z to go back then when you go to your right side as you can see it comes with a whole lot of parameters it is freaking amazing guys i'm gonna walk you guys through it i'll be a little bit fast hope you guys don't mind so with the build in and build out that's the animation in and out when you leave it on it looks so cool but if you don't want it you can just untick that but I think when you leave it on it really looks so cool that way so then when you go to the position this is for the overall position so with this let's say for the exercises if i want it to go to the left side i can move it to the left side with this control and also with the y axis if i wanted to move down i can move it down this way and also with the scale it's for the overall scale so with this usually i'll go with somewhere 50 percent i don't want it to look so big on the screen i just want it to be a little bit small and then i'll place it at the left side or the right side corner depending on how you feel or where you want it to be so with this i'll just place it at the left side and also the next one is the opacity if you want the opacity down but i think with 100 percent it looks so cool depending on how you feel you can just turn it down to 50 it affects the whole body and also the test itself so with this i'll just leave it at default settings go back to 100 and also with the select view it has front and also back when you select back you can see it shows the back muscle so imagine if you're doing back workout or maybe you're doing hamstring and you want to show the back view then you can select the back view and then you'll select the various muscle group that you're working on so with this i'll just leave it on front since the workout on screen is a chest dumbbell press that i'm doing with the orientation this is what it shows when you turn it to zero it turns the body to the other side of the screen depending on how you feel but i think the default settings look so cool with it so with this you just play around it and then you find out your favorite or how you want it to look like so with this i'll just go back to the default setting with the colors you can change the color for the body let's say with this white if i want to change the whole body to let's say somewhere green i can just change it like that if you want your video to look different then you can play around these colors so it doesn't really look like the rest of the guys will be using this plugin pack so this i'll just leave it at the default settings and also with the title one you can change the color over here just like the way we did the first one and the colors are going to change so you just follow through with the arrow one arrow two that's the small arrows over here you can change the colors of that too so now let's go to the title one 
if you want to change let's say if you're doing the workout and you have let's say five sets then you can just change it right over here by writing five sets you see it shows right on the screen then you can change the font style that you want over here with this we'll just maintain it with the default and then you can change the size too if you want it to big or small over here then when you go to the position you can also change the position using the x as is let's say if i want to move it to the right side when i move it moves right on the screen too with this i'll just leave it at default settings and then when you go to the title too that's the 12 reps that shows right here on the screen the small of reps so let's say if your reps are let's say eight reps then you can just change it right over here and then write eight over there and it shows over there too it also has its own font style and size that you want to choose with this we'll just maintain it at default settings and also with the title three that's the bench press but this workout i was doing dumbbell press so i'll just write dumbbell press over here right over there you can see it changes right on the screen very easy to control with the parameters and very easy to understand too the glow affects the lines if you want the glow on the lines to really pop you can just change it to 100 but with this i'll just leave it at the default settings and also with the line width you can change it if you want it to be a little bit big you can just change it right over here the next one the muzzle selection with the body opacity it affects only the body so if let's say if you just want the body opacity to go down you can just change it right here and it affects the muzzle that we've selected too. So with this, we'll just leave it at default settings. And then we'll go to the color intensity. If you want the intensity of the muzzle that we've selected to go down, you can just scroll down over here and then the intensity will go down. As you can see on the screen, the red goes down when we do that. So with this, we'll just leave it at the default settings. It looks cool. And then the muzzle animation. Let me show you guys. When I untake that and then I go back to the screen, you can see when it comes in, the muzzle that is selected, it's already showing there, but see how cool it is when i take that now let me go back and then take muzzle animation now see how it comes in it blinks and that shows the animation part of it it makes it look so cool so i think leaving it on makes it look so cool so with the outline glow that's the muzzle selection that we're selecting if you don't want the glow to come around the muzzle selection that you have you can just untick that but that looks cool too when you leave it on so let's just leave it there and then with the size you can change the glow size and intensity right over here now let's go to the fun part so as you can see it comes with a whole lot of muzzle group that you can select so whatever exercise you're doing whatever workout you're doing you can select the part over here it's so freaking amazing guys so with this exercise i was doing chest so i'll just leave chest on upper chest and lower chest right here when i want to take that see how it looks then you can see it goes right away so let's see if i was doing some deltoid i can just select the two over here it's gonna show exactly that i was working on my deltoid or i was doing shoulder workout and it makes it so easy to show your viewers exactly the workouts that you're doing for that day and then when you scroll down you can see back muscles so right here if you want the back muscles to show remember earlier on what we talked about you just scroll up and then you go to select view so with this you just select back then you scroll down and then over here you can select exactly the back muscle group that you wanted to show let's say if you're doing some leg workout and you want to show your glutes and all that you can just select that part and it's going to show that you were working on that part and that's it for today guys you can see it's very easy drag and drop and play around the parameters and the parameters already explain itself very easy to understand and all that catch you guys on the next one thank you guys peace